Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about one of my scripts that I have set up to work with KDE Connect. Uh, real quick, KDE Connect allows you to connect your computer to your phone or any other device like tablet or whatever. Um, and from KDE Connect, you can actually send text messages or read text messages. Um, basically, the little script I've set up allows you to uh, text from your command line using your editor. For me, it's going to be Vim, but um, I'll go ahead and just show you how this works. So first of all, you're going to want to set up this exported uh, underscore KD connect underscore default device to whatever your device is. You can figure out what, it is, what this is with the KD connect CLI. Um, if you connect your phone first and then run this dash L parameter, it's going to go ahead and scan for devices and then it'll find your phone. Mine's the Pixel XL and this is the ID afterward. So you can see this matches my ID in here. Um, you don't want to make sure this is exported when you're running the script that I've written. Um, so the first script that I have, let me go ahead and bat this out. So this basically just cats a file, or rather sorts it, um, that is in your home directory called dot .contacts and pipes it to FCF. If you don't have FCF, you could use dmenu or whatever you want. Um, FCF is just a simple fuzzy finder you could use it kind of as like a, a menu selector so go ahead and run this i have some some fake contacts uh in my home directory that i've created for this so you can go ahead and you know use your arrow keys to select this or you can start typing in like any letters and it'll start matching you know with a with a fuzzy finder and it basically just prints that out to the command line so then again if i out of context you can look at this again that's all the script does it, it's super simple I've reused it a couple different places, so I have it in its own predefined script. The one that's actually going to be sending text messages is called SMS. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Basically, this is running the contacts command, and it's going to parse whatever you selected there into a name and a phone number. Um, this little IFS is just defining the separator as a colon, um, which if you look at this file it's literally just a name a colon and a phone number um we go ahead and just open this in vim after that you're just checking to make sure something was selected if not you're going to exit um next you'll have to get the more utils package to be able to use this command called vipe but basically what this does is allows you to use your editor within a pipe so real quick if i do this What's going to happen is it's going to pipe this ABC that I'm echoing into whatever my editor is. For me, it's Vim. So in here, I could add on to it. And when I write and quit this, it's going to go ahead and pipe this out into standard out. So you can use that to edit your text message that you're going to be sending. Um, next, it exits if the message uh, is like an empty string or, or if nothing was written. So it'll just quit the program. But if it goes through all of that, you have a message prepared and you have a phone number that you're sending it to, it is going to use the KDE Connect CLI to try to send this text message. And then it'll give you a little message with notify send saying it's sending a text message to whoever. Um, here we're piping the output to dev null because for some reason, the people who wrote the KDE CLI have their own help option, but that's already been written by some other thing that they're using so it's conflicting it prints out stuff that we basically don't want to see so we're just going to get rid of that so it keeps our uh, standard out clean and if it fails it'll say fail to send text and it'll exit with one meaning an error occurred um, if not it'll tell you it's sending a text to whichever name you've selected so if we go ahead and run this again it's going to pull up this prompt to pick whoever i'll pick billy joe and then i'll just say either and now it's going to say sending a text to whoever. And then that actually goes through your phone with KDE Connect and sends the text message. Um, I'm pretty sure I just put in like a random fake phone number. So I'm going to get a message back. Yeah. So it's some random number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is replying to me saying this isn't a thing. Yeah. It says it's a landline. So I just text someone home phone, I guess. But yeah, that's uh, basically. All I wanted to show for today. It's really useful if you don't want to break concentration. Usually I'm editing something 
in Vim. So it'll send me a text message and I'll get a little notification here with the text saying what it is. So I can quickly just open up another terminal, run SMS, pick their name, type whatever to reply to them. And yep, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, again, leave it in the comments and have a good one.